Hi, I'm talking about climate uh, today. How are you doing, pastors? I hope that everything's fine with you and I hope that your church is growing and that you're beginning to see some of the benefits of implementing principles of the purpose-driven church in your own church. I'd love to hear questions from you so that when I'm uh, creating videos or answering questions, they're a lot more uh, relevant to your situation and whatever you're going through or what you want to know about, you know, and I'm dedicated to that. So if you could uh, drop a question maybe at the bottom of this uh, YouTube video, or you could email me at uh, Pastor Jeremy, P-S-T-J-E-R-E-M-Y, Pastor Jeremy at gmail.com. I'd love to be in touch with you. Let me talk a little bit about climate. It is so important that in the beginning of your service, the 20 minutes before your service begins, the way people enter your church, the way people come uh, into the area where your church is going to gather, who they meet, who shakes their hands, what is the climate, the, the, the lighting, the music, the sense of happiness, the sense of uh, decorum there. It's very important that you think about that. And there's a whole lot to say about it and I can, I, can, uh, I can give you some training on that. But I want you to think about that. And I want you to begin to ask yourself the question of how does it feel for a newcomer to come to your church? You've been coming for years. Many of the people who have been organizing the ministry have been coming for years. So everybody kind of gets what they need to do. And as soon as they walk in, they just barge into their uh, places or they go to their seat or they talk to the people that they know. But what does it feel like for a first timer to come to your church? So as they walk in, let me, let me just say two things today. As they walk in, do they immediately feel a sense of acceptance? Do they, do they, are they received with smiles? Are they received with, with a warm welcome? I'm not just talking about, a, you know, someone's greeting them, making sure that they get in and show them where their seat is, but an actual sense of a community welcoming you, like you would do in a home or, or in a wedding or a, or a gathering of some sort. So think about that. How do new people feel when they come to your church, to your assembly, to your congregation, to your uh, service? All right. The second thing I want us to think about is the clarity of information. As soon as they come, is there something that's available so that immediately an unbeliever knows what's going on? Uh, does he know what the communion means? Does he know why they are announcing certain programs? Or do they know, does he know why he's sitting here or sitting there? Does he know how long the service is going to be? Are you giving enough information or are you giving enough kind of comfort, comfort uh, knowledge so that people are like, okay, I know that this is going to be for 45 minutes more or one hour more and I know that the service is going to have worship and then it's going to have an explanation from the text or this is what the communion means. You know, when you give that information, you are extending trust to people. When you tell people either from the pulpit or in, in some sort of a brochure, this is who we are, this is what we believe and if you come back next week, this is what you can expect. That kind of basic information is so helpful. Now, if you are a tribal church or you're a smaller community church or you are in the same culture, like you, either you are North Indian or South Indian or Nepali or, or a particular people group, you know, tribal group, then maybe you don't need to make that kind of an effort. But somebody needs to communicate that because still they are coming into a new community of believers and they want to know what's going on. You can relax people when they know what to expect and what they can or cannot participate in. You're giving them that leeway. Think about it. Think about it. Acceptance. Do they feel accepted? Number two, are they clear about what's next and what's happening around that? Are you, have you made them feel comfortable? If they're their guests and they're comfortable, they're going to come back again. And that's what you need to be thinking about. How can we make sure that they come back again?